In June 2013, the Airbus A350 made its first flight. On that day, everyone at Airbus was anxious, as the A350 would either lift up the company or, if unsuccessful, lead Airbus towards slow failure. At the end of the day, a collective sigh of relief could probably be heard all over Europe. But why? Why exactly was the Airbus A350 so important to the company? Well, in the same way Boeing had a huge headache competing against the A320neo in 2011, Airbus had met its match with the Boeing 787. Initially, Airbus thought that the Dreamliner would go head-to-head -head with the A330, but as time went on, Airbus realized that they needed a better response to the Dreamliner. Airbus had already been investing a lot of money into the A380, predicting demand in the very large aircraft market. However, the better economics of the twin-engine Boeing 777 seemed to be more appealing to most airlines around the world. Around 2004, a new model was supposed to complement the existing A330. It would be dubbed the A330-200 Lite and promised an increased range with the same A330 fuselage. But still, the 787 promised to do everything better than the A330 Lite. More range, more passengers, and most importantly, better fuel burn due to the introduction of new engines and materials. Airbus received limited attention to its new project, as customers wanted something truly new, something better than the Boeing 787 or existing Airbus A330. If Airbus wanted to beat Boeing in the twin-engine long-haul aircraft market, it would need something revolutionary to sway airlines from going with Boeing. We can outline two main reasons for the importance of the A350. Firstly, Boeing announced the 787, an aircraft that Airbus had no answer for. And secondly, Airbus still had a gap left in the market that the A340 failed to fill. Something larger than the A330, but smaller than the A380. So, by incorporating the latest technologies of the time and seeing the capabilities of the Dreamliner, Airbus went ahead with the clean sheet A350. The A350 family uses advanced aerodynamics, giving a smoother ride for passengers and increased efficiency for airlines. Airbus notes that its airframe uses more than 70% advanced materials such as composites, titanium, and modern aluminum alloys. This makes for a lighter and more cost-efficient aircraft while increasing resistance to corrosion and reducing maintenance. Its wing design has been innovated too, morphing and changing shape in flight for optimal efficiency. And to top it all off, the aircraft has been powered by Rolls-Royce Trent XWB turbofan engines and increase in efficiency over older engines. Yes, when it comes to competing against the 787, the A350 offers competitive range and can seat more passengers while even allowing for more cargo capacity. With Airbus's response to the 787, Boeing has realized they have to come up with an answer of their own, the 777X family. With revolutionary wingtips and an engine that's as wide as the 737, Boeing promises something that airlines are craving for, even more efficiency. According to Boeing, when comparing the 777X and the Airbus A350, the 777X promises 10% lower operating costs with even more range than Airbus's aircraft. Airbus has teased that they plan to stretch the A350 to compete with the 777X. However, Airbus's own Guillaume Fari has been reluctant to provide a definitive answer regarding any new variants of the A350. What do you think of the Airbus A350? Do you like it more or less than the 787? Leave a comment and let us know. AeroTime is a global, multi-channel, digital, and professional hub, providing news, events, and advisory services to the aviation world. Be sure to subscribe to our newly relaunched YouTube channel and follow us on social media to get the latest aviation news.